Hey guys, it's Brittany and today I have a another wedding video for you guys. I did my March wedding planning updates video for you guys and a lot of you guys wanted to see how I did my DIY wedding binder so um, I wanted to share that with you guys today. If you guys are interested in my lipstick, my lashes, or my hair, all of that information will be in the description box for you guys. If you are watching this video, maybe you think you're about to get engaged, you are engaged, or you just kind of like wedding planning videos. So um, if you are engaged, congratulations to you. I got engaged on August 18th, which was our fifth uh, dating anniversary. And then I decided to start creating my wedding planning binder in November. There are tons of different sites you guys can go on to uh, purchase one where you just fill in everything. Um, but I kind of wanted mine to be more personalized and um, customized to the things that I like and it's less expensive. I made one on my own but then on Christmas my mom she actually bought me one too. So I used both of them but mainly the one that I made. So this is what my binder looks like right now. It has a floral print on the front, on the spine, and on the back. The paper that I use, I got from Hobby Lobby. So they sell sheets of paper. This particular paper was 59 cents. So I bought like maybe three sheets because I knew I wanted floral print because I love the way floral print looks. Um, and if you're interested in this specific paper it's called floral on floral on polka so I'll put that in the description box if you guys want this specific paper so all I did was uh, cut it to fit the front of the binder and the binder that I used is just a plain binder that you can buy at Target or Walmart or even the dollar store so I am going to start showing you guys everything on the binder okay so when you open my binder, I didn't want my binder to be, I didn't want my binder to be really plain. So I got some washi tape um, from, I had an Office Depot in my area going out of business. So I got some washi tape and I finally used it. And I just um, put it on the pocket of my binder to jazz it up a bit. And on my binder, I have a lot of, I have a lot of paper clips just so I can use those if I have different different contracts or something that I need to keep together I have those at my disposal um, I have some stuff from when I went to a uh, wedding convention and I would definitely suggest if you guys have wedding conventions in your area that you go to them because it was so fun and I got a lot of stuff to fill up my wedding binder with I love gold accents so Last year, I was trying to get into the whole planner thing with, you know, the daily planners and stuff like that, but I never really got into it really hardcore, but I have these stickers for my wedding planner because I actually need to, I'll actually stick with the wedding planning thing instead of the daily planning. But anyway, I got these really pretty gold glitter stickers from Hobby Lobby. And let's see, they are $2, so these are very pretty too. And these are just cute things to jazz up any calendars or just to make your binder more customized to your taste. Very cute, and they're all very inexpensive. Something else I would suggest that you guys get, I have no idea what this is called, but it's like a clear envelope pouch thing. I would suggest you guys get one of these because you want to keep, you can keep your sticky notes in there. You can keep extra pens and pencils when you go to different vendors or appointments and stuff like that. And just to jazz it up, I did add some of that washi tape that was on the pocket over here. Okay, so I wanted to get uh, some print out, a print out calendar but I didn't want to have to pay for it. So online there are a lot of resources if you want free uh, calendars. So I started planning a year before our wedding because our wedding is on November 12th. Um, so I started my wedding planning binder in November. So 
I have all wedding related stuff on my calendars and I'm just gonna show you guys some things I have written down just in case you have no idea of the kinds of things to write down. So on November 12th of 2016, I actually found my dress, which is a year out from the wedding. So I found my dress and I, I wrote that down. And then I started writing down different appointments I had with different wedding venues. So this was the first one for December. Let's see what we had in December. We had another wedding venue appointment. We had two wedding venue appointments in the same day. And then I scanned in some contracts and emailed them because on, let's see, on Saturday, December 3rd is when we figured out which um, wedding venue that we were gonna go with. And I'm cool with telling you guys the wedding venue we're going with, which was the Loom. The Loom is in Simpsonville, South Carolina. It's a beautiful location. We made our deposit for the Loom. We started narrowing down our caterers this month. This was a busy month. I have something about school in there, but I'm gonna jump past that. Uh, we had another meeting on December 23rd with another caterer. And at the end of this month, I wrote down think of wedding hashtags. And believe it or not, even though we both are creative people, we still have not come up with a hashtag for um, our wedding. So we're still working on that. Okay, January, this is what we have for January. We had a meeting with our caterer and this turned out to be our caterer, Smoke on the Water um, in Greenville, South Carolina. They are amazing. So um, yeah, we had that meeting on January 22nd and then we had our lending meeting on the 21st and that's when we picked out um, our tablecloth colors and all that stuff. And then on January 28th, we went to um, a wedding festival. My cousin and I, we're both getting married this year. She's in my wedding and I'm in her wedding. So we both went there with um, our moms and my grandma went too and it was so much fun. It was only $8 to go and we got so much free stuff. Like it's crazy. And you get so many ideas, even if you you know don't have enough money to actually do everything uh, that they, all those ideas that they give you, it's really good to go and see what's out there. So I would highly suggest that you guys go to a wedding festival. Okay, February we had um, phone calls with photographers and videographers. And on the 4th, we, February 4th, we found our wedding photographer. Her name is Michelle and she owns Mirror Photographs and her photography is beautiful. I'll leave links to her website in the description box and then i had a meeting with my cousin because she's going to be helping me with my um florals and arrangements on my tables and here we are at march so we can look at other stuff so for march um on march 5th we found we went ahead and signed our contract with our videographer our videographer is grace from humming meadow productions she does amazing videography uh, very artistic and beautiful lighting um, and then skip all the way to yesterday I'm filming this on the 25th but yesterday I found my bridesmaids and my bridesmaids dresses from Demetria Designs in Greenville South Carolina and I plan on sending out updates to my bridesmaids so they know what dress they're they're um they're gonna be wearing and like when to pay and all that kind of stuff now we can move on so I have this is something else I want to suggest to you guys. Definitely get these letter protectors. I don't know what they're called. I think they're they're called. Get you some letter sheet protectors. I got mine from Target. So initially I wanted to just have the sheets of paper. I have them all hole punched and stuff. But when you start getting hardcore with your planning, your pages are going to start to rip. I would either suggest getting some of those reinforcement things for um, for your uh, sheets of paper or just get the letter sheet protectors because it's gonna save you a lot of time. You'll just have to take your stuff in and out um, when you are filling everything out. And then I have the rest of the year in here too. And if you guys want like monthly or monthly updates on everything, 
I'll try to do that because that could be a, a fun thing. All right, so there are a lot of wedding planning timeline things online as well. I printed out a lot of my stuff from botanicalpaperworks.com. Everything was free um, and they give some really great timelines for what you should have done each month. I am not like... Before I got married, I, uh, well, before we got engaged, I didn't know a lot about like the timelines and everything, but there's so much stuff out there. You don't even have to worry. Just print it out and go by, kind of go by. You can loosely go by some of this stuff or just customize it to whatever fits your timeline. So our wedding is on November 12th. So I started at the 12 months before thing and then you kind of check off what you have so far we have a lot of stuff completed but um there's a lot of stuff we there's still a lot of stuff we uh still need to get finished so at the 12 month part i'm just going to give you guys just little things 12 months before set your date set your budget set on the theme and the color and then start planning um, start a wedding planning binder and that's exactly what I did um, a year before and so and then in January you got to put together your guest list I'm still working on that um, book venues and caterers we already have that uh, we still need to book our DJ our officiant but we have our photographer and videographer um, for March this is all I'm going to show you guys just this front page because we um, this is how far we've gotten we have to choose like the wedding stationery according to this, but some things we just aren't going to do. I don't think we're going to do save the dates because a lot of people lose those. When I get sent save the dates, I lose them. I think we're just going to stick with like just the invitations and that kind of be, that be it. I already ordered my dress and I already actually have it. We still haven't signed up for our registry, but we'll get on that. Actually, on April 5th, we have our engagement pictures, which I'm really excited about. And I have started, um, I have ordered two dresses, but one of them I think I'm going to send back. So, and then they have a lot of other things, budgeting sheets, so you guys can keep up with your, your budget. And then I just have some notebook paper, just in case I need to write down some notes. Now... For my dividers in my wedding planning binder, I decided to create my own. So Target is my favorite place like in the world, like in the world. So in their dollar section, they had some really pretty file folders and I wanted to use them um, because I've seen people who have, who are like hardcore into like daily planning. They take their file folders, glue them together and then hole punch them to create dividers and that's exactly what I did. Um, I took my file folder, closed it, well I took my file folder, opened it, got a glue stick, glued the inside of it, closed it and then got a hole puncher like a three ring like a a three ring hole puncher and then hole punched it and now I have a custom divider and then on each tab I have what's in each section so in this section I have wedding venues this is when i was looking for wedding venues um and a lot of the stuff in here i kept from every time i would visit different wedding venues and everything so i might have contracts from the places uh that i visited and a lot of these places are from when i went to the wedding festival as well so and then i have contracts and everything in there so this one is pretty this one this is also from target like all the all the dividers are from target um, this one kind of looks like Lily Pulitzer a little bit. So this is a ceremony and reception tab and I have information about all of my bridesmaids and Adrian's groomsmen. Um, I actually, I'm going to have six adult bridesmaids and then I have one junior bridesmaid. So I have seven bridesmaids in total and Adrian's going to have, um, I think he's going to have nine groomsmen. So he's going to have two more than, um, then I will and then I have other reception details things in there and a big thing like I went hardcore when it came to the caterers because I love food and as somebody who has gone to maybe I don't know probably 10 weddings in my lifetime um, 
guess they really remember the food so I wanted to get it right and definitely have definitely make it food and stuff that uh, me and Adrian enjoy as well so I have a lot of questions that I found online of what you should ask your caterer now if you guys want a specific like catering like how to choose your caterer video please let me know because I'm gonna have a complete wedding planning series like my experience uh, with wedding planning so I have all the caterers that we had through our wedding venue and then I have the wedding decor tab with um, a lot of information about like how much like tablecloths and linens um, cost at our wedding venue okay so my wedding dress is in this tab this is the bridal this is the bridal and bridesmaids attire section so I'm gonna skip past that um, and this is like a contract from when I picked out my uh, bridesmaids dresses yesterday and if you can see that their dresses are gonna be um, blush so that's what their dress looks like the color of their dress looks like and this tab is the photographer and videographer tab a lot of these um, okay so this is a photographer that I did not go with but I picked up some information from the wedding festival um, it's a cool way of filling up your binder but it's also good to keep everything just in case one of your friends gets married or um, people want suggestions of different vendors and what you think about them you already have information that you can pass on to them even if you don't work with them so all of this section is um, photographers I don't know if we're gonna have a photo booth at our at our wedding but that would be a lot of fun but um, here's some pictures from when we went. This is some pictures from when we went. This is me and my cousin Kiara. We had so much fun at the wedding fest. Oh gosh, it's going at the wedding festival. It was a lot of fun. Okay, and here's some more pictures. This is my grandma, me and my mama, and we got to dress up in different things. Then this one. This was probably the best. Um, photo booth that was there to show us they had really nice um, they had a really nice setup and that's Kiera and her mama and then me and my mama and then this is the grooms the groom and groomsmen attire section um, they haven't uh, picked out their suits and stuff yet so I just have a lot of like menswear magazines and stuff that I picked up from the wedding festival and then this is the DJ and officiant section. I have not uh, contacted a DJ or an officiant yet, so that one is under construction. But I do have some some DJ um, business cards, and then I also have um, like live music. Oh, I also have like live music brochures and stuff in there too. I don't know that much about save the dates and invitations but Adrian is a graphic designer so when it does come time to do all that he is going to be very involved in that um, process and so will I so this is the save the dates and invitation section and in this section um, I have like information on when to send your save the dates and thank you cards this is called wedding uh, stationary etiquette and this is also from botanicalpaperworks.com so if you don't know much about this um, everything is explained in here so when it comes time for me to do this stuff I'm gonna read over this again and um, be a little bit more prepared and aware of how to do it and then I have a business card from a printing company this section is the guest list section <laughs> I have a florist and floral section which has nothing in it yet and then I have the honeymoon section because when I went to the wedding festival um, they gave us a lot of you know travel and honeymoon information um, but we're not at that point yet we'll get to planning that kind of stuff in the summertime so that is everything for my DIY wedding planning binder It's actually very easy to assemble it doesn't um, take that much effort to me or it doesn't uh, take that much money so if you're the kind of person that's into doing things yourself then you will definitely enjoy 
uh, the process of doing this. Um, but if you're not the kind of uh, woman or or guy that likes to do this kind of stuff, then you can definitely order a pre-made one online. Yeah, and if you want to know anything specific in a future wedding planning video, please let me know. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.